Hello people, today we're going to address the need of a reprint for Scarlet and Violet sets. And as you can see already, we're going to take a look at the number. So as always here on the channel, a deep dive into the numbers so we don't let many thoughts out of our head, but we rather look at numbers and data and then we try to make some assumption. So hello everyone, this is Barry from Barry Collector. And uh, before we do so, so what we're going to do today here, we're going to take a look at the supply of booster boxes and cases in the European market and then uh, in just a second I'll show you one thing about the American market we'll take a look at TCG player so we're gonna take a look at supply and uh, based on numbers we're gonna at least make some assumption on whether or not is a reprint coming soon is there the need for a reprint for these Scarlet and Violet sets. So without further ado, I wanted to get started with Tissue Player and there's one thing I wanted to show you. So here we're taking a look at Pull the Evolved, which based on uh, price, you could argue is the most sought after set in the Scarlet and Violet era so far when it comes to main sets. So not including sets such as 151. So here you can see it's selling for right, right about $110. Now here we have different listings and if we go on with pages you can see here let's go on oh, page number three you still have a uh, decent amount of supply you see here a seller with 25 boxes and then 17 so on and so forth and I, I took a look at it if you keep going further you'll see many listings but one thing I want to address is it's from what my understanding and I, I could be wrong it's more popular in the US to sell boxes on either private groups or on Facebook, Discord, different platforms, or for stores to sell boxes either locally or on their own website online. So it could, it's also possible that they rather sell, you know, locally or online on their own website so they can save on fees because I know TCG Player compared to the European market, so car market, fees stands at 13 TCG Player against 5%. In the European Union so that's one thing I wanted to address and then the other thing I want to address is we're going to take a look at European numbers now the first set that apparently has been printed in the European Union was 151 so from 151 onward as one viewer also reminded me the Pokemon company started to print in the European Union as well they started to print English as well as European languages in the European Union however when it comes to English I think to a certain degree of confidence, we can assume that there are more English booster boxes printed in the United States compared to European Union. Why? Well, in the European Union, you have multiple languages. You have Italian, German, French. You have Portuguese that is actually imported from Brazil. So people in these specific countries where they, they have their own language, there's going to be less demand for English. There's still going to be some. I'm in Italy. I only buy English product, but there's going to be definitely less. So I think it's pretty safe to a certain degree to assume that there are more boxes available, at least there were at some point in the American market than in the Europeans. So that out of the way, I think we can start to take a look just approximately, but you, you'll see the number of boxes of all Scarlet Violet main sets. We'll take a look at cases and then we'll compare them to some even later Sold and Shield sets. And uh, looking at the numbers, we'll try to think if a reprint, as of right now, I'm not talking two years down the line because two years down the line, I have no idea what's going to happen. Nobody knows. You can try to estimate, you can try to predict, but nobody knows. So talking a year from now, it's kind of pointless. Could you expect one? Yes. Do you know? No, no one knows. So here, look at this. I want you to, from now on, to pay attention on this column here, B column. This is the, just, you can just take a look at the first one because it, they're going to be all the same. This is the number of boxes and uh, I'll try to zoom in even further. So this is the number of boxes and that's the set, Scarlet Valley Base. And uh, here we start to have data on uh, April 21st. So that's the number of boxes in the market. I'll scroll, I'll scroll down from now on and I'll do this with all sets. So you get an idea of how it's moving and the number of boxes available. So 1,000, 1,012, 1,015, 1,047, 
76, 1100, 1100, 1100, 1100, still 11, min 1100s, still some sales, some coming backs. So as of today, May 8th, you have 1132 boxes. Now, Mr. P, so let, let's zoom in. So pull the evolved, let's go to the top, 1300, and that's again April 21st. So 1300, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1300, still high 12s, 13, 13, 13, 12, 13, 13, 12, 12, 12. So it does sell kind of, you can see it's selling. And today, 12, 1232. Obsidian again. Let's zoom in so you guys can see and uh, let's scroll back up again April 21st 1100 11 Blah 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 at this point. You can, it's kind of boring 1100 1200 12 12 12 12 12 12 you get the point it, it's 12 to 1300 paradox rift 1300 13 13 13, 13, 13, 13, again, 14, mid 14s. So here we are at 1400 as of today. And then the last main set for now, which is Temporal Forces, 1200, and that was April 22nd. So one month actually after release, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, still 1200. 11 okay and today 1186 so and uh, let's take a quick look at cases now so let me scroll through my spreadsheet real quick so we make it as quick as possible and here we go pull this is scarlet and violet base 72 cases so 72 by 6 and obviously that's not all the boxes in the market that's one listed in the European market on car market. Now, here with Poly Evolved, as you can see, you have 500 listed, but there is a seller, this this row here, there's a seller with 500 boxes. So, I mean, 500 cases, sorry. So, 500 cases times six, that's uh, 3,000 boxes, and uh, in about uh, $100 under hero each. And then that comes down to what? Uh, 300,000? 3,000 times 100. You add to zero. 30, 300. So I don't know. I've never seen something like that. Again, we're talking cases. So I would assume there's more than 56 if we take out these 500. I know there's actually 500. That sounds a bit too much for me. But still, many available. That's that's basically the whole point of the video. Probably by now you you might have already skipped. Obsidian Flames 100, and then let me zoom in again. Sorry, Paradox Rift 50s, 50, 60s, 69. Temporal Forces. Oh, that's a bit too much. Sorry, sorry about that. Temporal Forces 95, 97, 100, 19 in the 90. Obviously, oh, so it's it's the latest set. So get an idea that's about what 70 to 90 cases per set at least 1200 boxes per set so we're talking you do the math we're talking about 2000 boxes kind of 2000 boxes per set available so you can go out today and buy all those boxes if you want to they're listed so let's take a, a look at something like uh, let's say if we have a lost origin Lost storage, or even if you want to take a look at Symbol Tempest, it's my latest video. I look at, uh, I do an in depth analysis on boxes and then I'll talk about other things. I'll, I'll link it up as always. It's going to pop out on top of my face so you guys don't have to look at me all the time. So, Lost Origin, which is the second to last, uh, I mean, there's Symbol Tempest, Lost Origin, Symbol Tempest, and then Crimson Zenith, but we're not talking specialty sets. So, that's Lost Origin. Again, saying column B is the number of boxes 159, 155. 150, 150, 150. So it's safe to say in the 150s. And then take a look at cases for Lost Origin. Lost Origin. As you can see here, probably already in the 12, 12, 11, 10. So it's basically a tenth. Safe to say it's a tenth 
of Scarlet and Violet. So the point of this video is, as of right now, is a reprint really needed? Is there a lack of boxes right now? Personally, my answer would be no. Now, that doesn't mean it's not gonna come, but I heard people talking about mm, Scarlet and Violet reprint, Pull the Evolve is gonna get reprinted. Yes, it might, but are, am I, is the data suggesting there's a need for one? Is Pull the, if, if you only isolate, if we isolate Scarlet and Violet sets, this is Pull the Evolved here. Today, boxes were 1,232. If we only isolate uh, Scarlet and Violet sets, so if, let's let's compare it to some, something that's older, Scarlet and Violet base, 1,100. Let's compare it to Obsidian that has a Charizard in it, still 1,200. Let's compare it to maybe Paradox and Tempora, which have, you know, the Azurori Moon, Chiron Crown, so cards that are played, so maybe they got open more, I don't know, 1400, 1200 for Temporal. So is are the number much different between all Scarlet and Violet sets? Not really. Are they different to uh, later Strollers in your sets? Yes, we're talking about a 10, uh, 10x, the amount at least that is available. I don't know, obviously the ones that are not listed are not listed. And with the assumption we made before, would it be, I mean, rational to assume that in the US there's going to be more English boxes because there's more demand in the US than in Europe? Yes, I don't know. It's This is my personal opinion. So, so far I showed you facts, I showed you numbers. That's my opinion. I think I'm assuming that. I think it's possible. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. If you think it's safe to assume that in the US there's more demand and therefore there's more supply for uh, English boxes than in the European Union. And uh, that's basically it. I don't think there's a need for one. I'm curious to know what you guys think about after seeing these numbers that perhaps you haven't really either thought about or you've never seen. And uh, as always, I will wait for you in the Discord. I recommend if you want to join, if you want to stay updated with this number, then it's the right place to join. As well as if you want to talk about Pokemon, invest in Pokemon collecting, and everything around Pokemon. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out. If you enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate it if you could leave a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.